and stuff. Well, it's so much, um, unlike last week's thing, you can quite find that same flow, especially going forward, that you had. Was that more down to the way Spurs set up against you, or just down to your players not having that same verb as last week? Two different games, different styles. I'm not so certain I can agree. You know, I mean, it depends what you mean by the word verb, I suppose. I mean, we're playing, a back, playing against a back five. We're, you know, we're forcing their wing backs back and they're playing with a back five. Less space around, but I saw us on the ball for large, large periods of the game and I, I saw us attempting to get into the, to the right areas. Um, we didn't have the success that we, we had last week or in the, even the weeks before. But that, that will be credit, of course, to the fact that Tottenham decided to defend as they did against us. And it's never easy to find that bit of space when there's a lot of players in and around the box. But I thought for large periods we, we took the game to Tottenham and, and, and looked as if we might create the chance we need to get, get back into the game after Kane's won the goal. Well, it's football. That's what it is, isn't it? You know, of course, it's frustrating. <laughs> it was probably even more frustrating for Tottenham last week to conceive that goal, which lost them the game in the 97th or 98th minute. You know, that is football. You, once you start trying to make something of that, um, you create a rod for your own back to some extent. I was happy with the first half. I did think we we played well. I didn't think we deserved to go in by. One goal to kneel down, of course, but you know the the opponents have got the right to, to score a goal. They've got the right to produce that piece of wonderful skill from from Kane to to get the ball wide to Potter, and then of course to to leap as he did and score the header. They they've got the right to do that. You hope it's not going to happen, but when it does, it shouldn't detract from the fact that the first half performance was pretty much what we were expecting from the team. And the same goes for the second half because we went out there in the second half and we knew it was going to be hard to create the clear-cut chances, perhaps. But we took the game to Tottenham all through the second half. You know, into the stage where we we changed our changed our play at the end, up playing four-four-two to try and get the goal. But then, of course, we couldn't get it out of the corner for the last eight minutes, which was a bit frustrating. No, I would expect it. You know, his age, he's, he's got several good years ahead of him and he doesn't get injured very often, touch wood. He, I see this was his 35th game this season, so he's not missed a game. I would think the only thing that stands between him and the record will be, is he going to avoid serious injury? Is he going to be able to get 20 to 30 matches a year behind him? Is he going to get help? from his teammates and, you know, playing a good team, which is what he's been playing in. If all those things take place, I would expect him to break the record, absolutely. Brian, um, Brian Mason made the point that perhaps he's a bit underappreciated in the country at large, you know, outside of Tottenham. Maybe fans don't appreciate what we've got here. You're one of the greats of the modern era. So I think, I think that's true. You surprise me. You know, I, I bet, you know, you're talking... You're talking maybe for a body of football fans and football people that I, I don't know. I don't know who they are. I don't know what they're saying. But um, I can guarantee that none of us who work in football on a serious basis, in what I call the football village, there's none of us that have that opinion. Ed? Just on what was the harm of why we had a good game today? Is he back to full fitness now? Yeah. I mean, I think that he was dangerous, but we can get more from all of our all of our good flair players today. They all did fine, but all of them, if with a bit of luck, could have done a little bit more. And I know that's how they all feel. But it's very good to have them because even on the days when they're not that their magnificent best, they're still plenty good enough. And one of the things that I liked about today is this: that you know we. Even at 37 points, with five games to go, we felt ourselves pretty safe. And when we got to 40 last week, 
we definitely felt ourselves safe. And yet, watching the way the team fought and the challenges we made and the effort we put in and the running and the desire, that probably pleased me more than anything. That would have pleased me more that than the odd moment of brilliance from a Will for a, a Michael or a, an Eberechi, is it? Because that's not easy to get at a football club. It's not easy to... We can all say the right things. The season's not over, you've got to keep going. But we've had to come to Tottenham today, a Tottenham that are desperate to win. And we've, we've made life extremely difficult for them here today. OK, this gentleman here. Hello, everyone. Yeah, it's great to see you both in football. I was just wondering, you know, if the opportunity arises next season, would you be prepared to carry on? What I'm prepared to do is to make no comments whatsoever about anything that will happen when this season ends, other than the fact that I intend to go on holiday. That's basically, that's a definite uh, period at the end of it. Thank you. Ed. Hi, Roy. I was just wondering what you made of the referee's performance. The, the fans and the players seem quite disappointed, hmm. especially towards the end. It's the old uh, chocolate box, isn't it? You get what you get. You know, and today, you know, obviously we felt, but... He refereed the game, probably the referee, you know, he, I, I'm not prepared to come out and make any comments about the referee or suggest that with another referee the result would have been different, because it wouldn't have been. Um, but, you know, in moments like today's, when you've had such a lot of the ball, you've had so many sort of possibilities, as it were, and you felt yourself in with a good chance all the time, then, of course, when a few free kicks go against you or get given against you, it adds to the frustration. That, that, that's what it was. Okay, I think that's it. Thanks very much, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.